Hey everybody, I'm Zach, this is Schmirkadabur, and welcome back to Earthbound. We're talking about Mother 3 right now. It has less humor, but still has its moments. I mean, if it's consistently weird still, I'm, I'm gonna be happy with it, I'm sure. Um, let's deal with this. The fourth your sanctuary location. All right. We've got our buddies, we're ready to go. It's Shroom! PK Ganja. PK Freeze. Um, I don't have any big bottle rockets, unfortunately. So let's attack. It's been a lot of my last playthrough with only Ness being able to do any real damage outside of magic. No, why did Shmur have to be mushroomed? We're gonna take the risk. PK Ganja. And, uh, freeze and shoot. Shouldn't be too long here before we kill this guy. Um, I love that. Please. Please, not us. Nice. Again. Again. And again. Should I be using fire? Derp is poisoned. I'm gonna cure that poison. Continue using freeze. And, uh, continue shooting. All right. Boom. Nice. Love getting a freeze there. Uh, ganja. Let's go. We've got to be nearly done here. Mushrooms are the most annoying effect in this game. Yes, they are. Hey, that was a nice and easy fight. That went well. You mean the most creative effect? That's true. It is the most creative effect in the game by far, too. Uh, 30,000 experience. Smur is 43, offense up 3, guts 1, vitality 1, HP 13, PP 2, derp has leveled up as well. Not a particularly good level, but she got fire... What is that, gamma? Fire gamma? Alright, that's okay. We're gonna get cured anyway of our mushroom because we, uh, we found a Your Sanctuary location. What is this one called? The... The the rainy circle, the rainy the rainy circle, right? Schmur caught a whiff of dim sum, but just for a second. Schmur's soundstone recorded the melody of the rainy circle. Oh, nice! I love these spots, man. So cool, unique effects, or or at least unique um, sprites for everyone. Controls are scrambled to the point where you can barely even get to the hospital. Yeah. And they keep changing, too. Like, that's the crazy part about it. They just keep changing. Um, here's the thing, though. The game creators obviously knew how annoying it was because they actually rewarded you for getting to the hospital with it. Um, which I think is great. You know, they give you 50 bucks if you manage to get there. If you manage to find a healer, they'll give you a little bit of cash. So good. All right, Dr. Andonuts. Oh, Shmur, Zeke wets his bed sometimes. Um, yo. I finished remodeling the Sky Runner. You can leave for Summers whenever you wish. It shouldn't break this time. Well, maybe. On our way to Summers. Let's freaking go. All right. So, um, again, we're getting very close to getting the fourth character here. Which is real exciting. And then the game can really start in earnest. You know, we still are, are, are... We haven't even collected the whole party yet. And the last character is great. I love him. How does he know that? He hasn't seen his son for 10 years. Maybe he talked to his, uh, his scientist colleague at the, um, at the academy. Or whatever it is. The dorm, the orphanage. What the hell is that place? Anyway. Um, maybe he talked to him. And he was like, hey, dude, your son is like filling up his bed with pee every single night. And Dr. Andonuts is like, oh no, I'm so sorry, please don't kick him out. I'll give you another 10 zillion dollars because I'm secretly super rich. I'm pretty sure that's, that's the case. Pretty certain. A boarding school, that's what it is. A boarding school. And we crashed again. Jeff is terrible at piloting this thing. Way to go, Zeke. Way to go. And now it's in like the teeniest of pieces. The guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. 
Wake up in the morning, fall in love. Eat lunch, fall in love. And at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. <laughs> oh, Summers. So good. So good. Don't talk to me. My mind is a complete blank. Oh, if you say so. Are you from Eagle Land? If you like adventure, this isn't your kind of place. You should travel across the sea to Scaraba from Toto, the poor town. All right. We've got some really spectacular things. What would you like? Gelato Day Resort, yum. You should really eat here. All right, man, I'll eat here sometime. What's your story? Only a tannin pro like me is able to get an actual suntan in the palms of his hands. Ouch, ouch. All right, Collie man. I'll see you later. Take it easy. Um, and uh, hopefully you can catch more of this. Hopefully you can catch more of this. I'd be bummed if you missed out on some of the good stuff. Um, yo, it's Fuzzy Pickles time. Just ate lunch and now need to fall in love. All right, Kali. You fall in love. Have a good, uh, have a good sleep. I assume you're going to bed. Did you work the night shift? Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles! All right, let's go. Oh, you gotta go to work. Zunes. Oh, I guess it is that time, huh? I, th I thought it was morning. All right, have a good day at work, Kali. Take it easy. Uh, it'll always bring back the fondest of memories, etc. Let's roll. All right. Can barely even express how much trouble I had with the department store. But freaking Diamond Dog barely gave me anything at all. Um, yeah, the department store is so... It can be so frustrating. I got a really good run in that today, actually. I mean, if we're talking about, you know, not dealing with crap. I only had to do two fights. Um, and, uh, and I had a ton of big bottle rockets, so they weren't a problem. I wonder why such serious-looking kids as you would come to this resort town. You guys are spoiling the atmosphere. Hey, girl. You look so serious. You're in summer. It's a dream paradise. Relax and have some fun. Okay. I mean, we're hanging out on the beach right now. I'm just trying to take a nap in the shade. Don't bother me. All right. So we can now go experience the town proper. This is exciting. Um, it's the hotel. The sky is blue and the sun is high. The prices here are so high it'll make your face turn blue. That's summer. Okay. Uh, all right. So hotel is on the far left side. Um. Can you? You can't actually take it. Yo, it's Fuzzy Pickles time again. First playthrough, I didn't see it coming, and I had none. Yeah. Oh, I remember my first playthrough in the department store was misery, absolute misery. All right. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready? Say Fuzzy Pickles, Fuzzy Pickles. All right. What a great photograph, as usual. Okay, the restaurant, I remember, is very expensive as well. I'm actually a surfer, but you can't surf at this beach. Should I become a porter so I can get tips from all the old folks? Hey, hey, stop putting your grimy fingerprints all over my car, you little punk. All right, the shop. Um, so we want... Yo. Yo, there's a lot. Um, we want a diamond band for derp. And, um, a lucky coin for derp. And the big lead bat. If we can get those things, we're pretty happy. Let's just take all of our money out. It's a lot. We're gonna leave $8,000 in there. Um, for the purposes of, like, staying at hotels and things like that, if necessary. SNES 9X settings to be like these? Yeah, absolutely. Um... If you, uh, if you need them, um, we can give them to you on the Discord. All right, let's start buying crap. Um, a big league bat, for sure. And Schmur will have that, he'll equip it and sell it, yes. All right, let's get the diamond band for derp. 
Oh, that's huge. That is such a huge upgrade. Um, we, uh, let's get a lucky coin for derp. Yes. Good stuff. Um, we'll get a diamond band for Zeke as well. Skip over the platinum band. Yes. Okay. We can actually get a diamond band for everybody. Um, and I think that's worth it. We'll be able to sell the platinum band for a lot. Back. Yes. And then we still have enough to get another, um, lucky coin. Uh, which should go to Schmur, because Zeke is using the, um... The, uh, Mr. Saturn coin? You know what? Let's, let's get Zeke the lucky coin, too. Uh, oops. Didn't mean to use the phone, actually. We just need to get out another 3,000 bucks. Um, which will leave us with 5,000, which is not a ton. But... I'm glad to, to be spending some money to get some boosts here. This is nice. All right. All right. No, we're not selling the Mr. Saturn coin. You cannot get Mr. Saturn coins anywhere else. Um, so I refuse to get rid of it. Let's uh, call Escargo Express so we can give them our Saturn coin. Pick up, please. And is there anything that I need to sell? Not there. Not there. And not here. That's good. So we should probably go back to Foreside. Um, so that we can buy derp. Yeah, nice. We'll send it to you. Um, might not be able to do it until the end of this episode. Um, but I can get it on there. Kali sent it to me in a private message, I think, so. Uh, this is Escargo Express. Exactly. I want you to take the Mr. Saturn coin. I would also like you to take... Can I give up the receiver phone yet? Yeah, <laughs> it should be easy with Nightbot posting it every every few moments. Oh, we can sell the deluxe fry pan too. Um, I think we don't need the neutralizer. I think the shield killer is all we want. Wait, is this shield killer single target? Uh, we can get it back if we want it later. All right. Most of the time we want Zeke to be using a bazooka once we get it anyway. Um, so here's the museum. Oh, yo, it's taxi. Let's fight it. <laughs> Let's fight this taxi. Mad taxi. Every little bit of money is going to be helpful, so I'm, I'm glad to be doing this. Um, any fight that we can get, we should take it at this point. All right. 779 experience each. Let's go and talk to you another nice day summers always has sunny days it's the hospital east of here's the poor town of toto no i'm not a billboard i'm just an old man all right let's go check out the poor town of toto to go to scaraba you need to cross the sea however a monster named kraken lives in the open sea he attacks ships that pass through are you scared no, I can take him. Across the sea, there's this town called Skaraba. The materi a mysterious town. It's my dream town. Do you have any books for me to look at? Okay. Let's go. Ba -ba -ba. Pst, pst. <laughs> Another shop. Probably should have checked this first. They they'll probably have some better gear. If ye be heading to Scaraba, ya to shop here. There's things are expensive down there. So what you looking for? Okay. Yo, no, perfect. Good. No, I won't be needing anything else, my friend, the pirate captain. Please come again. I will, man. I will come again. 
Um, I am a grave robber. I was scared of the pyramid in Scaraba, so I didn't go in. But I tell people what I saw, that I saw mummy-type monsters with me very own eyes. Okay. Okay. Mummy-type monsters, huh? Did you know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number for a reservation if you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. I'll warn you, though, it's a strange place. Fair enough. That's where we get to have our freaky coffee. Hello, Zeke. Oh, happy day. I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Zeke. It's me. Oh, it's me, Tony. I'm collecting players' names for a school project. You know, players just like you. That's right, you, the one holding the controller. Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. Luca does Twitch 34 with the follow. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. You're the first friend I ever had. Um, okay. Schmer. Ka. Da. Burr. Schmer. Da. Burr. Let's go. Thanks, game player. Uh, thank you very much. Is this correct? Yes, it is. It's Schmirkadubber. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Zeke in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. Well, talk to you later. Zeke, I hope I can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From T-O-N-Y. You got that? Well, I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. Okay. Meow. M meow to you. Would you like a boat ride? Nah. Not yet. I don't feel like sending a ship out. I'm worried about my wife. I'm not afraid of the Kraken. My wife's totally ignoring her magic cake business. These days she spends her time hanging out in a strange club. We no longer have any mutual interest to discuss. Is our relationship over? Ah. <sighs> All right. Check in more houses. Nothing in here. This is one of the things I really like about summer is that it like zooms across like this, this huge um, wide area. Um, I don't want to go out to sea because of the Kraken. I mean, any normal person would feel the same way. Uh, ba -boom -boom. Dinosaurs existed. I saw one. It had been out of the underground when it dried out. Of course, it was dead. Believe what I'm saying. I don't know what his di his uh, dialect was, but whatever. Bow now, brown cow. Oh, the dog with the bait and switch. If you come closer, I'll play the trumpet. Oh, I don't know how to play yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Meow. Oh, another cat in there, huh? Interesting. An interesting choice to live in a house alone as a cat. Um, okay, I'm gonna talk to this guy. I would like a boat ride. He doesn't feel like sending a ship out. Okay. So now we've got to call the magic number of the Stoic Club to get in there. Um, yo, I can't believe we managed to fully upgrade everybody defensively. It's so good. It's so good. And we even have a frying pan to sell. We should do that too. Oh, instant kill? Instant kill. Let's go. All right. Um, we also have here the museum. If you're bored, go check out the Scaraba Cultural Museum. It may be helpful to you. They have a hieroglyph from a pyramid. Okay, let's go in. Ooh, let's call this as well. Call the Stoic Club. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, Schmer, sir, would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Click. Beep, beep. Oh. <laughs> right now, part of the Scaraba Culture Museum is being remodeled. Do you still want to enter? Three dollars per person. Study hard. Let's go. Now I will take your legs. Do you accept this? Oh, yeah. So good. Ram Raisin the Third's casket. R Ram Raisin. Toten Carmen's casket. Toten Carmen's pencil box. I saw a chubby kid about your age here. It looked like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. Toten Carmen's lunchbox. Okay. Ram Raisin the fifth's training pot. You. The F Ram Raisin the fourth's casket. Remember, remember, why would Mr. Spoon from Forest Eye Museum try to call me? I bet he just wants to brag about something. Well, let him try. I wonder what he wants to tell me. But I dare him to try and upstage me. Oh, pardon me, I was just talking to myself. <laughs> Spooky music sounds. All right, what's your story? 
this room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. I can't, well, I usually don't show this room. Once you hit adulthood, you'll understand. I do, however, like jewelry. Perhaps a little, shall we say, under the table deal would be in order. So if you can find him some jewelry, he'll let us in that room. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, next up, the Stoic Club. The Stoic Club. Let's call our mom. Since there's a phone that's free right here, let's call our dad too, actually. All right, and dad, dad. We've got $6,000 in the bank right now, which is not really very much. And it's gonna be even more expensive when we get to Scaraba. So, got a lot to, uh, got a lot of money to save up, but we'll do a lot of fighting down in Scaraba as well. So, that'll be fine. Club Stoic, we got our reservation, let's go. They're looking at a rock. Didactically speaking, seminal evidence seems to absolutely the fact that your repudiation of entropy supports my theory of space-time synthesis. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. I finally awakened the inner me, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and bring the impression into my super ego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My it is telling me- Yo, shut it. You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism? Oh, but I can envision that. <laughs> Top 10 questions science still can't answer. Why does Pokey turn green while battling Gygas? Indeed. Incredible. Incredible. Hmm, I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry, I was sleeping. You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony and study of self-identification is blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to do. You don't understand what the hey everyone's talking about, do you? I don't either, but I try to be patient with the customers. They pay high prices just for a glass of water and the chance to have serious intellectual discussions. Actually, it's an easy business. You want a drink? We only serve water, though. The show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the show on a stage and philosophizes. Doesn't it sound stupid? All right, the stone, so good. I finally awakened the derb de derb de derb de derb. I want your cake. Wait, what, magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? Yeah. I see, okay, well, why don't you stop by a little car down the beach later? I will. Nice. She's going to make me magic cake. And we're going to eat some magic cake. And we're going to go on a magic trip. A real magic trip. Um, okay. Cart on the beach. Somewhere. Um, not that cart on the beach. But, uh... No, no, not that... Oh, hello, evil police officer. I'm going to get you. It's a talking stone from Lumen Hall. Probably. Probably. All right, the overzealous uh, cop is on guard. Yo, he's a tough one. You're a tough guy, overzealous cop. All right. Yo, Zeke's leveled up. Offense one, speed one, HP three. Dude, the low HP rolls are killing me right now. They are killing me. Actually, it's not even on the beach, is it? The magic, uh, the magic cake shop. Do 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 do. Do 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 do, but do do doop, be blue doop blue, blah 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 or blee. I should have just gone all the way down to the end in the first place. There she is. I don't know who told you you came from far off just to eat my magic cake. I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. Whoa. Am I the only one who really likes the battle music that just played? Dude, all the music in this game is awesome. So good. That said, I don't remember exactly which music that was, but... Schmer had a dream. It was a very clear and very strange dream. Oh, crap. Is this... No. Okay, I thought we were in Ness's nightmare for a second, and I got scared. I got real scared. Okay. Dalam. In the far east. Meanwhile, <laughs> I love it. Okay. 
Elefantes, the Palace of Kali, the Crown Prince. Man, I wish you could be here for this. Hope you're having a good day at work right now, Kali. All right. Gonna talk to me? Prince Kali, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. Okay. Use the treasures of Dalam as you wish. Go in peace. All right, I'll take some treasures of Dalam. A cup of life noodles. A brain food lunch. And a brain stone. A brain stone. What does that do? A miraculous stone that enables you to concentrate without using your own brain. If you can't concentrate, you can't use... Oh. So I have to use the brain stone in order to use Psy attacks. I have to have the brain stone. Hello, is that you, Shmer? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Why, who are you pretending to be? Oh, well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a time like this. I deposited $420 in your bank account. Taking away what you spent, you should now have 6564 in the bank. Well, ex experience to get to the next level, etc., etc. We get a save here because this is a phone man. <laughs> this is a phone man. It's very clear. For some reason, police brutality simulator battle against an unsettling enemy plays. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Police brutality simulator. So good. Prince Kali, you're my favorite blush. Tee hee hee. Thanks. Thanks. Kali knows where it's at, man. Kali knows where it's at. Um, okay. I haven't heard this music in so long. It's good. It's good. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Mm -hmm. Okay, we just gotta explore this whole place. We don't want to miss any treasure opportunities here, although we can teleport back here pretty easily. Preach Poot! Preach Poot, did he fart? Oh, Prince Kali, I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. I'm busy. Please come in. Look around the house as much as you want. Okay. We got a bottle of water. Good stuff for Kali, at least. So Kali has like weird effects to food. Um, he doesn't eat regular people food. Oh, Prince Kali, do you have time to play with me? Yes. Happy me, patty cake, patty cake. All right, let's go. You gotta stop and play. I wonder how confused he is when he hears stuff about this ATM card and Shmer. Oh, I'm sure he's, I'm sure he knows. He's a super genius. I just roasted some garlic and ate it. So the room still stinks. Um, I can smell. There is a scratch and sniff snicker for that with this game. All right. I heard the Prince Kali is deeply into moo training. I want to help him if I can. Well, you can't. So get out of his way. All right. There's a jar of deli sauce. Yum. You know that you do do everything well, right? That voodoo that you do the doo doo when you poo? Say, Prince Kali, are you still popular with the girls? Yeah. I heard you're living a more serious lifestyle these days. I am. Very serious. The seriousest. Prince Kali, blush, you are such a hunk. <laughs> I wish I could recover my PP just by drinking water. Even though I have never seen him before, I heard the prince can do that. I can recover my PP by drinking water. This is the humor you log in for. By the way, just what is PP anyway? We serve water, rice gruel, and those sorts of things. What would you like to do? I have zero dollars and a, wow. Brain food lunch, 800 bucks. Yo. Um, whoa, there's a bowl of rice gruel. And whoa, there's a bottle of water. Let's go. Scratch and sniff of Master Belch. Yep, I long to smell that scratch and sniff to see just why Paula got so nauseated. Yeah, yeah, they say that, uh, that, that, um, scent is most affiliated with memory, but I don't remember what it smells like. I, I do vaguely, I think. The moo, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of moo, you'll pass through. Moo is moo. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Kali. Long ago, I completed moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again so long. Whoa. 
All right, we're gonna climb to the top of Moo Mountain here and meditate. This is awesome. You can hear the mooing. Moo. Oh, Prince Kali, I'm a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Kali, you come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say, it is the truth. I refuse. I will not. I will never give up the trial. Let's go. Bizarre. This game is so weird and I love it. I love it so much. Prince Kali, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? Yeah. My legs! So, Prince Kali, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? Yeah. My arms! Ah, Prince Kali, without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? Yeah. Uh-huh. Take my ears. So, Prince Kali, the sound stops. So good. No legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? Shall I steal your sight? Do you accept this? Yep. I'm in. So dark. So, Prince Kali. Now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind, though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So you can't answer, you can't even move. Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Spiteful Crow attack. Spiteful Crow took your arms. Spiteful Crow regained 80 HP. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Kali. Know that I will possess it. Yo, our mind is gone. Prince Kali, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. All right, we'll go back to the palace and we'll do it next time on Earthbound. Thank you, YouTube folks, for tuning in. You know I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I'll see you next time. I can't wait to play more Earthbound, and I can't wait to do it with you. Have a great day. Bye.